revenge never really turns out the way you think it will. I mean, most of the time that shit goes wrong. And I knew it. It didn't stop me from calling Clark, though. And now I'm stuck for playing the day that fucked up my life forever. It all started when my boyfriend Mike came home, coked out his mind. It's funny what you accept when you're looking for love. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I'll be there. One. Like, can you believe this nigga just stopped beating my ass to take a phone call? And I didn't move or scream. My girl, I was just glad the licks had stopped. You know I love you. But that was just Thank until they that. started again. Come here. And then finally, I ran. Come on, D, open the door, baby. You know how I feel when you dress like that. I love you, baby. D, come on, baby, open the door. I gotta go, D. But I promise I'll make this up to you, baby. I love you. I gotta go now. I ran to the bathroom and seeing the bruises on my face was it for me. I needed help. And the decision I made next created my fieta. So you love Shark, huh? After day after day, all these girls that come in here, this is the one you choose? First off, she ain't about that life. And she's so country and plain to me. Yeah, but see, that's what I like about her. I mean, what are we if we're not country and plain? I mean, shit, we sit here, hide behind these gold watches, all this jewelry and designer clothes and shit, but at the end of the day, we all come from the same shack on the same dirt road. Don't forget that. Country and plain. But that's the shit that make us who we are, man. That's the shit that make us kings. Feel me? If you say so. But you're still my man, though. I'll holler at you, though. Have a seat, Mike. Yo, you know what? <clears throat> you come in here talking to me like we friends, man. That can't be the case, man. Not when your bag is light. Friends don't do that to friends, man. Hey, man, it's like this, bro. Listen, Admiral don't even trust you. He said you too eager. What you think about that? Man, yo, yo, E. I just got ambition, bro. I'm trying to get this fucking money. You can trust me. I'm trying to get this money for you too, bro. So then why is your bag light? It's these fucking young niggas, man. They ain't fucking paying. I done been by their mother's house, their baby mother's house. I done been by their side chick's house, bro. I still can't find these young niggas. Mike, my stupid, stupid, friend 
See, what you do with my product after you receive it, it's no consequence to me. <laughs> you can smoke it, snort it. You can shoot that motherfucker up if all I care. I don't give a fuck. All I care about is my money. Amen. Look, you're going to pay me. You got 48 hours to do so. I'm going to send two of my peoples with you to help you get your soldiers in line. But you're going to pay me 48 hours. And then you're going to pay them half of what you take for their services. Appreciate it, man. You won't be disappointed. Listen, we are not friends. You're going to find yourself in the rain the next time you come up short again. No excuses. No exceptions. We clear? Crystal clear. You won't be disappointed. Now get the fuck out of here, man. This is my testimony. How I live in these streets. You will starve. You don't need that man on my feet. This is my testimony. Gotta live by code. Keep your eyes in this. Are you a drug kingpin? What? Where you get that from? Deanna. She said you're like the head of some drug lord cartel organization or whatever. And I've seen with my own eyes how black and cat follow you and Admiral around like you're the president. And stupid, he just called you boss. Well, Deanna shouldn't be talking about shit she don't have no clue about. Cat and black, they do provide security for me and Admiral on times, yes. And stupid is just stupid. Answer the question, Errol. Because I didn't sign up to fall in love with Scarface. Clark, have you ever been a part of something much bigger than yourself? Something that you couldn't even explain? I'm human, so sometimes life is bigger than me and I can't explain it, so? No, but I'm talking about a situation where others rely on you for their livelihood. Babe. I provide for hundreds of people back home where I'm from. People rely on me. So you are a drug kingpin. Some may call us that. We call kings. All right, king. I'm out. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Have a drink. You know, I cannot believe that I've been so stupid. Like, how can you fuck someone for six months and not know this? Babe, you're not stupid. No, I'm not stupid. I mean, like, when were you gonna tell me? I was trying to find the right time. When is the right time? When some rival gang or a, a drug crew or whatever has a gun shoved down my throat? I only wanted to protect you. Protect me from what? The truth? From the loss of innocence. The loss of innocence, you once took you, my innocence. Listen, once you know anything, you know too much already. And that's what I was trying to save you from. Whatever, you know, the, the worst part about it is that you didn't even give me the chance, the right to decide for myself what type of life I wanted to live. Like, I'm into this relationship. I'm indebted into this relationship. You knew that one day I'd find out and that I would leave. You didn't give me that chance to choose. Like you have no idea about my past and what I had to deal with. Nothing has to change. Though. Everything changes, Arrow. Everything, nothing, nothing is true. Nothing that I thought of you is actually you. But you think I'm a thug? You believe I'm a thug? I don't know what to believe. I don't know you. Any and everything I ever believed about you was a lie. I love you. And I need you right now. That's bullshit. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, Clark, I cannot afford to lose you at this moment right now. You're the only thing that's making real sense to me right now in my life. And if I lose you, I'm going to lose a whole piece of my soul that I can't afford to lose at this moment. I don't need you to leave me now. Please.
Lady. Clark. I didn't know who else to call. What's wrong? He did it again. And I don't know where to go. This mother, where are you? I'm, I'm about to leave him at the house. I gotta get out of here. He's losing his mind. That fucking coke. He on that stuff. It's making him crazy. Oh, this nigga. Okay, listen. Come to my house. I live in Barclay Hills. I'm at 1121 Barclay Hills. Come now. Oh. All right, I'm about to be on my way. I'm right near Market Street. Okay, that's not far. Listen, if he calls your phone, do not answer. All right, I won't. All right, I'll see you in a minute. And just like that, I stirred something up in Clark. Domestic violence ain't no joke. And as fucked up as it turned out, the beauty of it all is that Clark would have moved the whole world to save me from Mike and his beatings. And maybe even killed him. All right, fuck it. Hello? What's up? Listen, if you want to make things right, I need you to come to my house right now. Hi, right, nigga. Let's see what's up. So how long he been beating you? It's only been for like a couple months because he's been under a lot of stress. No, fuck that, D. Don't make excuses for this nigga. I mean, like, stress, that's not no excuse. Look at your face. No, this is a punk-ass motherfucker that needs his ass beat so he know what it feels like. Relax. Are you going to hurt him? The last thing I wanted to do was have someone step in and handle Mike. But what was I supposed to do? He wouldn't stop beating me, and I needed some help. I just didn't know what that meant at the time. <laughs> you see your face? Yet and still, you worried about if he gonna be hurt. Listen, he a man. Ain't no man should ever put his hands on his woman. Especially not the woman he loved. I just wanted to stop. And it will. Tonight. You're gonna be different. I promise. Ladies. I still cannot believe this. You better believe it, baby. I love you, Arabella. And I love you, Miss Arabella. My Mafietta. <laughs> Mafietta. You and this Mafietta. Yeah. It's a real gangster how you managed to get this rock out of me. <laughs> that took some power. Speaking of power, you always say I have this certain power. So do I have the power to run an organization like yours? You wouldn't want to. Why not? I mean, those decisions is not the kind of decisions I want to rest on this pretty little head. No, I'm serious. I mean, it's not like I want to do that, but I am curious. Well, I mean, you are street savvy. Mm-hmm. Business-minded. Yep. 
ruthless when need to. Mm-hmm. You got a good judge of character. I mean, if you know how these operations work, then I think you could do okay. Okay? Just okay? <laughs> yeah, just okay. Then you got to deal with motherfuckers like Mike. Fuck Mike. Mike's a piece of shit. Chill out. Uh, we handled that shit already. True. But in case you do mm -hmm. have another mafia at a moment, mm -hmm. that you know the fire is downstairs in the drawer in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Just try not to blow your fucking hands off while you're making my breakfast. <laughs> Clark tried to hold it in the road, but no one respected the position that Earl had given her. Not even his most trusted partner. Really? No knock, no doorbell, nothing. You just walk in. <laughs> All right, what's up, Black? You know what I don't understand? It's how someone as rich as Earl be tied up with somebody like you. You ain't even about this life. Excuse me? Okay, it's obvious. You drunk. So I'm going to need you to make your drop and get the fuck out of here, Black. Like, for real. Heard on the street you was trying to cut us out. Cut you out? Earl might not know what you're doing, but we know what you're doing. Really? Matter of fact, we're here to protect Earl. Protect Earl? You? <laughs> okay, I got you. Now this, nigga, I need you to back the fuck up, make your fucking drop, and get the fuck up out of here. You know, matter of fact, I'm going to save your life today. That's what I'm going to do for you, all right? all right? But you owe me. I need you to remember that. All right, please. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. Bitch-ass nigga, get the fuck up out of here. Fuck, boy. Shit. I'm going to shot that motherfucker. Down here. Where? Down here. Oh, shit, baby. You all right? Mm -hmm. You good? I'm good. Yo, I'm, I'm gonna good. kill this nigga. You hear me? That's not necessary. I'm gonna kill. Listen, what do you mean? What do you mean? I am going to kill this nigga. Okay, if that's you what you think and if that's what you're gonna do, I don't need to know about it. What you expect me to do, huh? Huh? You expect me to just let him play both of us? Huh? No, huh? honestly, he wasn't trying to play you. <laughs> he called himself protecting you, but he's stupid. He's just built different. You know what I'm saying? He don't deserve to die, but what are you going to do? I don't need to kill him. No. <sighs> All right, man. Y'all need everybody in my house in an hour. In an hour. <sighs> Something else, man. What am I going to do with you, man? I don't know. Who was gangsta how you handled yourself though? I got something for you, Mafieta. Mafieta. How you feel about that? Thank you. Hope you know what this means. What does it mean? It means that now, my Mafieta, you gonna have me with you at all times. <laughs> Thank you. So, Mafietta, what you want me to do? Make him apologize. You see, Errol Bello is the head of the Port City Kings, and the entire city knew it. They knew this is the guy that you never cross. But it didn't stop them from trying, though. It started with digs on Errol's fiance. But then matters got a little worse when Mike brought Earl a certain kind of problem. What you got for me? Errol Bello, Port City Kings, two murders.
Hey, babe. Hey, babe. What's up, man? What's wrong? Listen, man, they coming. Who coming? <clears throat> Fed, mama. For what? Rat ass nigga cat, man. Are you serious? Tell me about it. Look, okay, you know my boss is an attorney. I'm gonna call him real quick. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, handle no, no, it. No, 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 no. Listen, it don't make no sense to call no attorneys. This is the feds we talking about. You hear me? Once they got you, they got you. There's nobody can save me. So why don't we just save ourselves the money? Save ourselves, save the kings from getting hot. Because that's all that's gonna happen. I mean, I'm the boss, that's what happens when you be the boss. Things like this come your way, you gotta know how to handle them. And that's exactly what we gonna do. How you feel about running it? While I'm away. How do I feel about running it? I can't, no, I can't do that. I No, I can't do that. Hold on. Who else is going to be? Who else is it going to be? I can't trust none of these motherfuckers outside. I know I could trust you. Without you, it's no me. Without me, it's no you. So it don't even make sense for you to want to cross me. If you rich, I'm rich. If I'm rich, you rich. It makes logical sense that you be the person that run this shit while I'm gone. Admiral, I don't even want to make him out. He already talking about he want to retire. He want to go in there. I'm not even going to do that to him. If I'm fucked up, you fucked up. If you fucked up, then I'm fucked up. Don't you see that? We in this shit together. It's not going to be anything out of the fucking ordinary. Okay? It's going to be me still inside calling the shots. You just going to be the one relaying the messages. And it's all going to be coming from me. Me and you, we a team. We in this. I can't trust none of these niggas. I cannot trust these niggas. Tell me you could do that for me. What I got to do? I was down on my own, had to run my bands up. Watch how you moving around me, I'm just saying, bro. I got some niggas who lie down, they need their fam, but they can't see to reach they people. You under arrest. I ain't spin the bands for them. I ain't on the bands for them. She said her name, Lauren. Her and her friends. You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say, we're going to the jail against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. I got some pain and I've been hurting, I just hide it inside They gon' tell you that you wrong and you know you right You a pussy with a gun but I be ready to fight I was down on my own, had to run my bands up. Watch how you moving around me, I'm just saying bro I got some niggas who lie down, they need they fam but They can't see to reach, they pee post on the ground for them I ain't spin the bands for him. I ain't with no bands for him. She said her name, Lauren. Her and her friends for him. I got some friends for him. From the road to the jet, we torn. We gon' go and hit the road. I buy whatever you like. I got some pain and I've been hurting. I just hide it inside. They gon' tell you that you wrong and you know you right. You a pussy with a gun, but I be ready to fight. Down on my own head around my back. You fool me once, but you won't fool me twice. Everything you learn about the came to the light. Baby girl, you did me wrong. I tried to do it right. Baby girl, you did me wrong. I tried to do it right. Yeah. You fool me once, but you won't fool me twice. Everything you learn about the
have no idea what Errol said to Mike, but I can't lie. Things were good. They were finally really good. Our bills were financially paid up and we both had extra money in our pockets. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I gathered us all here today so we can discuss any rumors about what happened. As you all know, Errol was arrested yesterday. The first time this has ever happened to a king in your organization. And I'm here to make sure that never happens again. He'll be gone for just a short while, but in the meantime, all matters of the king will go through the queen, me. Cool? Cool. So what, we supposed to listen to you because you say so? So what, because you pulled a gun on punk ass black? You supposed to be scared or something? No. We doing this shit the same way we did it when Eric was here. I think I speak for all of us when I say this some bullshit. All of us, Mike? Who's all of us? All of us. Who's all of us? You ain't hear me the first time? I said all of us. Hold that thought. I have a letter from Errol. Respect her word and abide by it as if it were my own. No questions, no exceptions. Now, Mike, you don't want to disrespect the wishes of my fiance, do you? I think your fiance disrespected us by having a bitch come here and run our organization. Bitch! I was finally, you know, happy. All of Mike's promises were being kept, and I had even peeped the ring Mike was hiding in his jacket pocket, too. I just knew he was going to propose. And then he never came home. Now, this now, is the this kind is the of pain, pain that you can't describe. It's the kind that hangs on your heart making it harder to get out of bed in the morning. I had a man and then I did it. Mike said he had to go take care of something and then he never came back. I was lost with no answers. The streets weren't talking. Clark assured me of that, but the money kept coming in. I didn't have to do much of anything for it. Clark and Earl were taking really good care of me, but still no word of Mike. And then it hit me. These motherfuckers kill him. I can't prove it yet, but I'm going to have fun trying. I'm going to make Mafietta my bitch.